wait until you see today's really unusual garden. What about you? Today we're going to be renovating this backyard putting green. Let's go. Let's have a quick look at the putting green and see what height it's cutting at. Today I've got the prism gauge with me. Now this is just a, an expensive magnifying glass that will set down the grass and we're going to measure the height. So come on, we'll go and have a look and we'll see what height this green is at. To have a quick close up of the green, whenever we'll come to the edges, you can see that we're starting to lose some of the grass. Now whenever you lose the grass, on a putting green it can be very very hard to get it back because you're cutting the grass so short. That's the joy if, you, if you're on a golf course or if you're on another surface like a bowling green you could always grow in a bit at the side and then cut it back in. On a smaller green like this you just don't have that option. Our first job is the aeration. We do this to relieve compaction and let the air down into the green. Written. Now complete, let's have a look at the cores. To have a look at the cores, you can see a lot of sand, which you'd expect to see in a putting green. We don't have a lot of thatch. We do have, we have our sand profile, because it is a putting green, unlike a normal lawn, just all sand, and the roots getting down to the bottom. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna give this a quick rake up, and then we'll start on to the next step. Happen to do a bit of work for a change. So now you can see we've got all the cores off the lawn. Our next job is to do the scar fan. For today we're going to be using the scar fire. I'd much prefer if we were verti cutting. Unfortunately, we don't have a verti cutter, so that's what we're going to use today. Preferably to do a putting green surface you'd want to use a uh, verde cutter but we've explained that to the customer and he's happy enough for us to crack on with the scar fire so let's get on with it the scarf on the first pass complete so if we have a look we can see some of the nice fine thatch we will pull out we'll have the thatch and a bit of moss through there so now we're going to do another pass got the scar fan stroke verde cutting done so let's have a look at it now I went over different directions just to try and get all the high points and the low points in the lawn our next job is the grass seed now whenever you go to buy bent grass seed it's very very expensive because it's, it's so small Now this stuff is that fine that whenever you're seeding, you can't see it coming out of the spreader. So what we've done is we've measured the size of the green and we've put just a bit more than we needed into the spreader. 
and we're spreading it evenly over the course of the, the green. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So our next job is to put on the sport sand. We'll put on the sand because it helps break down the fat and it helps level the lawn. And it's going to provide a nice cover for the grass seed to grow on. Now, I get a lot of comments about people sending me, Robbie, we can't get sport sand, where can we get it from? The best, my best advice to you is to make friends with a greenkeeper at your local golf course. We've messed with the top dressing, we bit bits like here and here, we're going to put some down and then we're going to run the lawn loot over the top of it all. Done the one pass over it. A lot of the holes are filled in. So we're going to go over it again. We're just going to concentrate in any areas we can see holes and top dress those again. Just go back over those areas again. That that had the hold with the lawn loots to try and get those filled in. So now we're going to get the mat out and go run over it with the mat. Next job now is to put on the seaweed. We put on the seaweed. Anytime you put on seaweed on the new seed, always put plenty on. You want to really drench it on for it to work the best. I did a really good video on why you want to use seaweed on your lawn, especially whenever you're overseeding. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the video description. Make sure you check that out. to find out how to build a proper golf green watch this video next it's where they built a new green at the clandy boy golf course in northern ireland watch this video next <laughs>